funnel web spiders are something I'm sure many of you need little introduction to. They are among the most infamous spiders in Australia and indeed the world. Well, I say they, really it's just Atrax Robustus, the Sydney funnel web hogging the spotlight while the rest exist largely unbeknownst to most people. Funnel webs are also a fairly regular feature on this channel, where they are often the unfortunate victims of my dry sense of humour. But I mean, come on, poking fun at their laughably pathetic athletic abilities never gets old. Their national and international notoriety is largely due to their highly potent venom, which in rare instances has resulted in life-threatening envenomations to humans although no fatalities have been recorded since an anti-venom was devised approximately 40 years ago. Funnel webs form a taxonomic family known as the Atracidae. As of a major taxonomic revision published in 2010, 35 species of Atracids have been described, divided into three genera, Atrax, Illawarra and Hadronici. The 2010 revision was a major overhaul for the funnel webs, the arachnological equivalent to Minecraft's 1.18 update, one could say, with many new species being described. Since then, no new species had been documented. However, that has changed with the very recent discovery of a hitherto unknown funnel web called Hadronici nagi, now bringing the number of described Atracid species up to 36. Hadronici nagi is named after the locality in which it was discovered. The nagi wilderness is a natural reserve situated on the far south coast of New South Wales, with its southern boundary running along the border between New South Wales and Victoria. Within its confines are expanses of eucalypt forest, heath and wetlands, and it is home to an all manner of native wildlife, great and small. A wander through the Australian bush, particularly after a bout of rain when the weather is pleasantly cool and the greenery is at its most luxuriant, can be a magical experience. Not only is the scenery often a sight to behold, but there is always a chance that, if your eyes are keen enough and luck is on your side, you may just find something special. And that is exactly what led to the discovery of Hadronici Nagi. On a cool, rainy winter's night in the year 2018, Paul Whitington and Kerry Lee Harris, who would go on to author the species description, were taking a walk through the Nagi wilderness. The weather was optimal for male mygalomorphs to be out and about. The mygalomorphs are an infraorder of spiders that includes tarantulas, trapdoors, funnel webs, and mouse spiders. Most are highly sedentary animals, seldom venturing far from their dwellings unless forcibly evicted by a predator or some anomalous weather event. But mature males are an exception. Ready to breed and nearing the end of their lifespans, Male mygalomorphs venture out under the cover of darkness to search the undergrowth for females. On that night, males of numerous different species were on the move. Among them were trapdoor spiders from the genus Arbanitis, and two species of funnel web, Atrax sutherlandii and a strange little species called Hadronici nimula, which one could be easily excused for mistaking for a mouse spider. In addition, another anonymous-looking mygalomorph was also sighted alongside these familiar species, but the significance of that find would not be realised until later. In May 2020, four more of these mystery spiders were found, all mature males active under similar conditions to the first. In the following months, another five spiders were encountered, again all males found wandering around in the same area and always on cool, rainy nights. These enigmatic spiders did not match any of the published descriptions for known species, but they were able to be identified as members of the family Atracidae, as they matched the funnel web's diagnostic traits. However, there was one key feature that separated these new spiders from any other funnel web known. Prior to the discovery of Hadronici nagi, 
All known Atracids possessed two distinct rows of chelicerol teeth. They're those pointed protrusions running along the inner surface of the chelicerae. Hadronic Nagy, meanwhile, was found to have only a single row in all of the nine specimens collected. Another manner in which Hadronic Nagy is different from the other Atracids is the density of cuspules on the spider's labia. The labium is a plate of exoskeleton located on the animal's underside, and cuspules are minute wart-like outgrowths that cover it. Here you can see the labium and cuspules of Hadronici nimula and Atrax sutherlandii, both of which are sympatric with Hadronici nagi across part of their ranges, meaning they occupy the same geographical area. The cuspules are densely packed in both of these species, as is typical for funnel webs. Hadronic Nagy, however, has cuspules that are comparatively sparse. The morphological data of the nine specimens collected is shown here. This displays the range in measurements for each of the character traits investigated. In other words, the extent to which each trait varies among the specimens measured. The variation in morphology within a species is important to measure, as it allows us to more accurately determine whether two organisms may represent distinct species, or simply variations within a single species. Hadronic Nagy may also hold the honour of being the smallest known funnel web. Its carapace, the large exoskeletal plate covering the dorsal surface of the animal's prosoma, does not exceed 5mm in length. So it seems the genus Hadronici now holds records at both ends of the spectrum. Another Hadronici species, Hadronici formidabilis, a huge tree-dwelling spider found in southeast Queensland and northern New South Wales, is the largest of the funnel webs. Of course, one can't really comment on the potential size of Hadronici nagy as a whole, as the female has yet to be described and female funnel webs, along with female spiders in general, tend to be larger than the males. Hadronic Nagy may be the first Atracid to be described since the 2010 revision, but it is almost certainly not going to be the last. Even among funnel web hobbyists who raise and breed these fascinating spiders, which I'm sure I don't need to tell you is a very niche community, Several undescribed species are known. Among these is a very large Hadronici species found around Barrington Tops, multiple Atrax and Hadronici species from Orange, and at least a couple tree dwelling Hadronici species from southeast Queensland's scenic rim, as well as Krumbit Tops on the state's central coast. With so many undescribed species under our noses, I'm sure it's only a matter of time before some new names begin to pop up in the Atracid family. Oh, and before I finish this video, I would like to apologise for the um, background noise, courtesy of my Katie Dids, and yeah, there we go. Um, so, yeah, sorry about that. Anyway, that is it for this video. If you enjoy my content, then feel free to subscribe and check out some of my other uploads. Thank you very much for watching. That is it from me, and I shall see you again very soon.